Okay, good morning, everybody. We are live. Good morning, everybody. Um, so here's test day. I want to go through it with you. I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to help set you up. So first of all, in number one, we know that it is a regular pentagon, and that helps us out quite a bit. So some of the interior angles, we want to use the formula. 180 times n minus 2, and you know that n is the number of sides. Okay, so you need an answer there. Exterior angles, it's always 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 360 no matter what it is okay An individual interior angle you take the answer to one whatever that answer is and since there's one two three four five you take this answer here and divide it by five okay number two um let's see there's one two three four five six so since there's six different angles we know that we got to find the sum of all the angles which is the 180 times six minus two uh, that's a 2, and I think you get uh, 720 if I remember right. Um, I'll just use my calculator real quick, but you get 4 times 180, yeah. Um, 720, and then so what you do is you go 60 plus 1, 2, 3, 4 x's equals my 720. You guys can solve from there, okay? 3 polygon. So some polygon has a sum. So we're going to use this formula here. We're going to take our 180 times our n minus 2, and we're going to set it equal to our 1800, and we're just going to solve for the value of n. Um, for what is an individual exterior angle of a regular pentagon? Exterior angle. So we know that we're going to take the 360 and we're divided by 5, okay? Okay. Um, 5, you know if it's parallelogram, opposite sides are equal, so you're going to set up first x plus 21 equals 12x minus 1, and solve for x. On this one, don't be. This was a little tricky. You've got. I know these are not equal, but they add to 180. These two are supplementary, so I'm going to take a y minus 9 plus a y over 2 equals 180. Now, that's like a one half, and that's like a one y. Okay, so here's how it works. Got a one and a one and a half makes a 1.5 y minus 9 equals 180. So solve for y. When you get y, plug it back in to here to get the value of angle B. So you get the answer to here, plug it into here, and you get the answer to angle B. Okay, that's page 6. Okay, find the fourth point. That should be pretty easy. 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2. There's D. E is 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. F is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and negative 3 is F. So to be a parallelogram, there's four, I'm sorry, there's three possible answers. Um, probably the one you're going to look for is somewhere down here. You just got to find it because you think of parallelogram, right? Anyway, somewhere down here, okay? You guys find that out. And you might want to use a bigger piece of graph paper. You never know. Um, there could be one over here, too. Um, there's a possibility we could have a parallelogram that looks like this. So we use different color. Mm, different color. Hold on. Uh, that doesn't work. I tried that one yesterday. That didn't work at all. So you could even have one over here to see where there might be one over here. Anyway, there are three possible answers. Okay. Seven, it is a parallelogram. So here's what we know that diagonals are equal. So if this is 100.8, this would be 100, 108. I'm sorry, 108.8. If that's 57, that angle's got to be 57. If that's 123.8, and that's 123.8. Okay. And so then if you want an angle, S-T-U, S-T-U, that's this entire angle here. Now, one thing to realize is this 57 is the whole angle. So take half of 57. Oh, no, you don't even have to do this. These two are just supplementary. They are supplementary, so you just go 180 minus that 57, can't you? Okay. And T-U-V, T-U-V is, well, I think I gave it to you. Um, so, in number eight, um, first of all, what I would do is probably set these two equal because they're opposite angles, so I'd take my 3y plus 2 and set equal 62 and solve. And then once I get that, I know that these two are going to be supplementary, so you can also take it right here. 5x plus 3 plus 62 equals 180. Solve for x. Um, 9 diagonals are equal, so you just set this equal to that. So you need the value of x and y, so 3y plus 9 equals my 2y plus 16. And we can also set up our 5x minus 4 equals our 10x minus 24 and solve for x. You guys can do that, okay? X and y. Um, it's pretty easy, huh? Okay, 
Okay, now, if it's a rhombus, here's what we know. That's 90 degrees. That's the trick right there. So, if that's 20, then this angle's got to be 20, okay? Um, and then you can find out what this angle is from making your right triangle, okay? And just 90 minus 20, and you can get that angle. And then if you want B, C, A, B, C, B, C, A is that little angle there. That's pretty easy. And C, D, A, C, D, A is the entire angle there, okay? Um... Graph turn of it's an isosceles trapezoid. So you get negative four, one, two, three, four, negative one, there's A. Uh, negative four, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's B. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's C and two, and negative one, two, three, four. Looks like a trapezoid, but I don't think it's isosceles. So I'm gonna say no. Um, sure looks like we've got parallel sides, but I don't think it's a trapezoid, or an isosceles trapezoid. I don't think so at all. Uh-uh. Okay, 12. This base plus this base divided by 2 equals this. So, base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2 equals n plus 12. And I'll let you just solve from there and figure out what n is. Once you get it, though, once you get n equals whatever, you got to plug it in. You have to plug it in. you got to plug it in, get your answer, plug it in, get your answer, and plug it in, and tell me what the mid-segment, the length of the mid-segment. You want the length of the mid-segment right there, okay? Um, all right. 13, if it's a kite, the big trick is this. That's 90 degrees. And look for your little right, right triangle. See so a little right triangle here, right? we got another right triangle here, okay? If we know that... Um, angle D E A D E A. Oh, I'm sorry, D A E. That's 16 degrees, and so we can figure things out there. That's got to be 16 also. E D C E D C is 64, which means that angle 64. You get it from there. Okay, that's all I have on the test. When you want it, let me know. Um, I'm happy to go ahead and send it to you. And then listen up. Listen up. When you're done with the test, when you get done with the test, you're done until next Monday, okay? Test done, but if you need to catch up, you're done until next Monday, okay? If you need to catch up, you need some work, get it into me, okay? If you're behind, get it into me. If you're done, awesome. Take the rest of the week off.